Welcome to Sarah's Little Corner of the Crochet World. I'm Sarah. Welcome to my corner. On this channel, we love to discuss crochet, crochet techniques, yarn, because, well, we couldn't crochet without it, and fiber, anything to deal with the fiber arts. So, I love to thank all of my new subscribers and all of my previous subscribers for taking the time and watching my videos. I truly do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. So today we don't have any yarn to show, which I'm kind of sad about, but we can always look at the beautiful yarn back here. I have been tagged in a few videos, so I'm trying to get caught up. However, if it looks like I'm wearing the same clothes, I apologize. The videos were done on the same day to spread them out throughout the week. Make lives easier. Anyways, so today we are doing 10 crochet hook questions. And I apologize, I am reading notes which are right here in front of me. So that I don't forget the questions. I know the answers, but this way I don't muck up with the questions. So the first question is, what is your favorite brand of crochet hook? Um, I love Boy, to tell you the truth, because over since I've really gotten full time back into crochet, which was around 2017, I have had a set of boys that I consistently use for almost every single project I have. Um, however, recently, within the last year or so, I have found Dollar Tree hooks, which are just kind of generic hooks. Uh, Craft Square, uh, Crafter Square, I think. I can't remember. Anyways. Um, but you know what? I used those and they were not that bad. So never just the Dollar Tree hooks because you know what? They're actually pretty good. Question number two. What's my favorite size of hook? I am quite addicted to a five millimeter hook. I love the size on it. I love how the stitches turn out and how it enunciates like all my projects and stuff. I love it. Um, do, 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 do. And if I could say a second one, right now I am enjoying the 1.5 millimeter hook. It's turning out beautiful motifs that I'm loving. And question number three, do I prefer a tapered or an inline hook? Um, love a tapered, that's the boys. However, I've never tried an inline hook. However, I, I have a feeling that I may have and I didn't like it as much because it kept hooking what I was trying to get. Yeah, it didn't work for me as much. However, I'm always willing to try and give those another chance. I just got to be able to save up and afford new hooks and try them out. See how it goes. Absolutely. Can't base anything on one try. Or at least I tried to, but either way. Number four. How do you hold your hook? I hold it however it's comfortable in my hand, which was a knife, uh, knife hold. Um, however, I have found that while I'm doing my crochet work with my crochet thread, that every once in a while, if I get stuck, that pencil grip actually kind of works for the crochet thread. It kind of reminds me of um, tatting the way the pencil thread hold it works but to each their own 99 per percent of the time i do a knife hold with my right number five does the style of hook dictate how you crochet yeah it does if it hooks too hard i could be too I can be too tight with it so that the this the changes easily. Um, I did notice if I worked with let's just say it was a generic crochet hook and then I changed at the same pattern, working the same pattern to a different hook, it's still a 3.5 or whatever, let's just say it was, and then the pattern changes from there. So I always try to leave the originating hook that I started with with the pattern so that like makes things easier. All right. Number six, do you prefer ergonomic hooks or regular hooks? 
I'm going to say regular hooks because I've never tried an ergonomic hook, so I couldn't tell you the difference. Um, I'm always willing to try them. I just haven't been able to afford them or anything at this time. So um, those furls hooks have been running through my screen constantly. And I'm just like, oh, furls, I want to try you. Oh, furls, I want to try you. Um, I just don't have the money for it. So in time, when things can be afforded, definitely want to try those hooks. You know what? It'd be grand to try because I have tendonitis in both wrists. So there are weeks where I just can't do a lot of crochet, even though I want to do a lot of crochet. Um, yeah. Regular hooks for now, but I may change my mind if I ever get to try those ergonom er ergonomic hooks. Okay. What are... Is Number seven. <laughs> trying to get ahead of myself. Answering the question without asking the question. Number seven. What are your thoughts on lighted hooks? I think the idea is great. I've never tried one myself. I think it's great because especially with those darker colors, sometimes it's really hard to see those stitches of what you're working with. Um, even though you, you may have the best you know, lighted room. Sometimes that little bit of extra light just from the crochet hook where like aiming at the area you're working with helps people see. I find that that to be awesome personally. Anyway, number eight, have you ever used a hook with interchangeable heads? No, I actually haven't. Um, and I think I almost kind of want to stray away from them. And the only reason would be is not the fact that it's just one handle, but the fact of the mechanics on the inside might eventually just go and then it doesn't work anymore. I'd rather be able to have a firm handle on my crochet hook and be able to use that. Like, yeah. Personal opinion, although willing to try them. If I didn't like them, I'd probably just put them in a giveaway. Number nine, do you like projects that require small stainless steel hooks and or the <sighs> brain, please work. Do you like projects that will require small stainless steel hooks or larger hooks? Um, I definitely like to work with a variety of sized hooks. Um, this year, starting with a 1.5 millimeter, I worked up with up to a 10 millimeter hook. I used a 6.5, a 5.5, a 5 millimeter. Um, and I like them all because it's just different projects and different things that turn out so crazily awesome that I just keep going with different hooks and different sizes because you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like a box of chocolates, don't you get? Anyway, number 10. If you were only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would it be? Uh, definitely boy, because my stitches slip off a lot easier for me. And I'd have to say with, for me, 1.5 millimeter and a 5 millimeter. Just because I like the delicate work, I really do. So yeah, those are all of the questions on this one. Apologies, had to pause. You know, that sneezing thing, it happens, you know. I didn't want you guys to have to endure the fact that I probably sneezed about four or five times in a row. <laughs> it just happens from time to time. Um, so in this one, we're to tag a couple of people. And so I wanted to tag Creations by Yankee, Christina Anderson. She does some amazing amigurumi work. Oh my gosh. Uh, you guys need to check out the little Woody doll. Oh my God. It is too cute. Go check out her channel. You'll understand what I mean. And the other person that I definitely wanted to tag was Kim's Crochet and Nets. She also does some amazing work and, uh, her amakurumis are absolutely adorable, especially like she does a little baby Grogu with 
you guys don't understand, that's Baby Yoda. And should the, the Mogwai, oh, of course, Gizmo. Absolutely amazing. And she's got some more on the way. Like, she's, you guys check them out. You will understand why I say that. So, we're going to do a quick video for today. Anyways, but I definitely wanted to get this over and uh, let somebody else do some answering. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have additional questions, put them in the comments. Let me know. I'm more than willing to answer them. So have a great day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Happy crafting and have a great time.